What's the difference between good soil and not so good soil? Hi, I'm Darren Hefty. If you asked any farmer or gardener where their best soil is, it's a pretty safe bet that they could take you right to it. That's where the best crops are almost always grown. There can be big differences in soil texture from sandy soil to heavy clays. There can also be drainage issues based on elevation and slope. The biggest differences may not be things you can necessarily see though. Nutrient balance is very critical in soils. Two key nutrients are calcium and magnesium. One of the tests commonly used by soils labs to determine your current nutrient balance is called base saturation test. Depending on the type of soil you're in, you'd like to see at least a 60 to 65% calcium reading and 10 to 12% magnesium. Too much or too little of either can cause big problems. While many people would simply add the big nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium that plants need the most of, others focus on the little things like calcium and magnesium that can make good soils great and turn poor soils into something good. With today's Ag Minute, I'm Darren Hefty.